Yeah. I'm, hey, I'm bobbing and weaving. What's good? Hey, bobbing and weaving. What's going on, man? Hey, we are. Oh, hey, man. WSME, SM Enlightenment Radio. Locked in with the hustle within. Capcom Management, Capcom Entertainment, Capcom Brands. We're in the house. We got the Hustle Within podcast, episode number five. What it look like? Cinco. What it do? What y'all got? Filth. Hey, I got my dude, K Mills. I got my dude, King Los. What's going on, guys? How's everything going? Man, we had a long week. A very, very long week. Oh, yeah. Happy Chilly Sunday. Mine. What is hey, you? Feliz Domingo, Espanol. See, si. what's poppin'? Hey, got, hey, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, long week. <laughs> yeah. Long week. Oh, yeah. I might need, I might need one of these drinks. I'm yeah. drinking water right now, but I'm, you know, definitely I might need a drink a little later. But oh we, yeah, hey, we're gonna jump into our first segment, guys. First segment, the top five. Top five. We've been dealing with the pandemic. Y'all know we've been dealing with a pandemic, and so I mm-hmm. wanted to come out and just talk about the top five most deadliest pandemics that ever occurred in the world. So I'm mm-hmm. gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pass you, King Los. Let me know which one you think is the most deadliest pandemic to ever occur into in the world, pretty much. Considering I love history, I'm going to say it was around the time the Titanic went down, right? Okay. <laughs> 1917, maybe 1918. Okay. And that's going to be the flu. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, you close. You close. What about you, Kay Mills? You close well, to that number this. one. Yeah, the black plague, black swine flu, oh. one of them something. Yeah. Okay, you there? You just you off the second name, the Black Death, the Black, the black Death. Death. That was number one. It killed two hundred million people in thirteen forty six to thirteen fifty three. So it lasts mm-hmm. for about five years. So yeah, that was, that was that was deadly. That was a deadly mm-hmm. one. I remember there wasn't vaccines, there wasn't med- modern medicine. You had to do a lot of home remedies <laughs> to yeah. get rid of this one. Mm. Yeah, eat onion, eat onion. And, yeah, or and pig feet. Probably, pig feet. It was pig feet back then. <laughs> yeah. <Hey. laughs> you know, probably, but you know, yeah, pig feet and uh, neck bones. You drink some neck bone juice. You mm-hmm. might be good. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, third, third, two hundred million people. Man, that's crazy. Now. The number two, we have to go to what you were talking about, King Lowe's, the flu pandemic of 1918. Oh. 50 million people. 50 million. Killed 50 million. 50 million people. people. 50 million 50. people. And that was in the 19, 20th century, right? Yeah, 1918. Okay. 50 million people. Now, number three. Number three is something I ain't never heard of in my life. It's called Plague of Just Nine. Just nine or something. That sound like a rapper. But yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five forty one to five forty two. It killed twenty five million people. Twenty five million. Mm. Wait, five what? Five forty one to five forty two. Is that BC or what? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Might have been BC. I don't know. I First of all, what... <laughs> what we what we do know the word millions wasn't even. It, uh, it didn't even exist, right? Message, yeah. right? And they they didn't count that high. They counted. <laughs> they only counted as long as they lived. Message. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Four. To infinity four. and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, we got another plague. It's called the Plague of Galena. And that killed four million people. Four million. Yeah. So that's yeah. technically like is that worldwide or is that like in because that looked like Rome by the way so is that just in Rome? No, that was worldwide. The old girl thick over there in the corner though. 
Oh, you don't want, yeah, you, you don't want that, buddy. You don't want no part of that. You don't want no part. Of that. <laughs> hey, you want God. no part of that, buddy. I'm gonna tell you, oh, man. you no parts of that. Oh, got the, the last, but not least, the last but not least, is COVID, <laughs> COVID nineteen. Oh yeah, I knew that was in the summer. You know, you know, and that's only one year. We haven't been one year officially. And it already hey, affected. I thought it was three one. years, man. No, I thought it was three years, years. right? It's, it's still the same year? The year ain't changed yet? <laughs> one year. Oh, one man. Year. Dog. At man. least we know we got the number right because we do know we can count that high and we do yeah. have technology. Um, but just so you know, uh, the the uh, pandemic of COVID-19 is still going on. So we hope that we get a, a vaccination or vaccine soon, so f- folks can get vaccinated. So, yeah, but mm-hmm. think about it. This thing been around less than one year. It already mm-hmm. affected millions of people, but it has killed over a million people. Has killed over a million, and still killing a lot of people. Just here in mm-hmm. the United States, has already killed over two hundred thousand people. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not one year. Has it still haven't been one year yet? Hmm. Started in March. We just yeah. about to come. We just we just in November. So yep. you think about it. Wear that mask. Wash your hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wear your mask and wash your hands. So what y'all and think wash about and things? wash. Yeah, wash your ass. Well, go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you think about the top five? I mean, yeah, that's that's crazy. But that's that's what they teach us. That's a, yeah, I mean, it's it's history. We just don't want history to repeat itself. So that's yeah. why uh, washing your hands, sanitizing, and uh, making sure you're wearing your mask uh, is important to make sure. Yeah, take your vitamins. <laughs> I think uh, healthy, what, what they do know is that if you have a healthy immune system, and really yeah. that's about how you treat yourself when you're younger, how you take right. care of yourself, and we know it impacts the lungs. So if you're a smoker, you want to try to, um, you know, don't pick up the habit and certainly try to uh, break that habit because it does affect the lungs. So mm-hmm. just kind of keep that in mind. But we're not trying to repeat history here. We're trying to get mm-hmm. past 2020 and past COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even looking at some of the ones from the past. <clears throat> man. you I mean, you didn't have no modern medicine. You nope. had remedies, home remedies. And. I mean, it was pretty much a death wish. Yeah. There, 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 there was nothing you can do to survive mm-hmm. back in um, 541 mm-hmm. to 542. Like, that's, yeah. you know, we, we yeah. in four digit. We, hey, we in four digit years. We mm-hmm. not, they, they had three, that was a three digit year. Mm-hmm. 541 and 542. Yeah. yeah. That kills 20, that killed 25 million people. Worldwide, so you that tells me, man, that tells me right there you had no you had no way to be a survivor. <laughs> so yeah. right now with COVID nineteen, you are getting some better treatments. When people are going mm-hmm. to the hospital, they get better treatment. Uh, mm-hmm. Getting people, there's a lot of people that's going through a lot of things. Uh, you know that's something that we have to just know and understand. Just by dealing with this, this pandemic, it's a, it's still a pandemic, still going on. Yep. You know, we a lot of people going back out here, going shopping and going to the malls and going going back to work and going to school. But in re- reality, we still dealing with a pandemic, and we still yep. have to start looking at this as a pandemic. And, and people stay to, home, stay right? Home, stay yeah. home. You ain't, you ain't got to be in the club. Home, stay home. Yeah, that's just like that's just like opening your mouth. It's like going to a club where you know a bunch of packed people, right? You don't know who got what. It's, it's like just opening your mouth, letting all the germs come in. Just imagine, mm-hmm. literally yeah. opening your mouth and letting germs come in. That's what is equivalent to when you go to a packed indoor um, club because you want to party, you want to drink or whatever. Man, mm-hmm. leave it alone. Save yourself, save your family, love yourselves, love your family, and respect others. You know, this pandemic is not a joke. Oh, you said a key word. You said respect others. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going into our segment, too. 
Our segment mm-hmm. two is another it's another serious topic that we need to really start looking <sighs> into. It's called cloning. Cloning. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, cloning. That's our next topic. We're talking about cloning. What just just what? Uh just been about it's been about 20 years ago. They did they cloned the sheep. You remember when yep. they cloned the sheep? Oh yeah, they, mm-hmm. they doing people now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that... now you remember the uh, sheep was cloned back about 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Dolly. Dolly. Yeah, called Dolly. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't know what Dolly is at now. I don't know anything what was going on with Dolly, but I just thought this topic was so serious that we would talk about due to mm-hmm. the fact you got diseases out here that's running rapid, and then you got people dying off so early and so soon that you have to start looking at, okay, are we going to God? You know, because some people, they don't want to leave the earth. <laughs> so yeah. are you going to play God and keep that clone on earth to reminisce that person that just left or... <laughs> Yeah, you get you get what I'm saying. You cloning, you cloning mm-hmm. people. Is that is mm-hmm. are are you playing with God? Yeah. Jay Mills, King Los, just you know, give some insight on that. Are you playing with God when you cloning people? What what's the deal on that? Yeah, what do you think, King uh, K Mills? I mean, that, that, that's real, man. Yeah, they playing God. That, it's always gonna be no good to that. Like they yeah. they probably clone, they probably doing people now. I, that, I don't I don't trust mm-hmm. nothing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, no, you you right. I mean, we probably been this technology is not new. Um, back in the nineteen uh, forties, the um, in Nazi Germany, uh, a bunch of their scientists was like involved in like mad scientists, if that's mm-hmm. what they were called. That's what we would consider them today. But they were experimenting with uh, cloning and really trying to uh, create the the most genetic race, if you will. Um, mm-hmm. And what that looked like from a uh, from the Aryan nation's perspective, right? So this is nothing new. Uh, scientists throughout time have been trying to clone. Um, even with the Egyptians, if you kind of think about the Egyptians, um, they tried to prolong the life of uh, the pharaoh uh, in in various in, in in various ways. So they were like, oh well, this is the pharaoh reincarnated, right? So it really starts from there, reincarnation. And then over time, you know, you got someone thinking about science and and really concentrating on that. Um, And then over time, you got, you know, you speed from the the, the Egyptian days to uh, the 1940s in Germany, where they start to kind of look at uh, cloning and creating the perfect human, the most advanced human. Um, And then you fast forward to Dolly and Dolly was just a a major milestone in the um, scientific community because they were successful in doing it. So um, this is nothing new. Uh, I believe that we have um, created cells um, with respect to uh, human human DNA, taking human DNA and replicating that with respect to the, um, if say for example, you need an organ or you yeah. need some sort of heart this is something that we're actually doing now. Is there a mad scientist somewhere in some secret uh, basement that is actually cloning people? Probably because we're sick like that, right? Um, the fact is, we'll never know until we do know. And uh, so, but again, in all, this is nothing new. They're going to continue to try to play this or or try to become, uh, you know, try to go against. Uh, really natural uh, reproduction with respect to creating Mm -hmm. one person with the same genotype um, without trying to clone through science. But we do test tubes, right? We do tube babies, you know? Mm -hmm. All that stuff kind of aligns to what we're talking about today in terms of cloning. So this is nothing new. It's just a matter of time before it becomes normal, okay, Mm -hmm. and acceptable. Mm-hmm. And it's just a matter of one now, vote, one person, etc. Go ahead. Do you, do you think it will help society when it comes to disease and, like you said, heart disease? If you need mm-hmm. hearts, livers, mm-hmm. you think that cloning would be, uh, I guess, something that can be used to help prolong life? Yeah, I think. 
Yeah, go ahead, Kay. Yeah, that's that's basically what it's for. Yeah, I think I think you can use science in two ways: one good, one bad. Right? Yep. Very simple words. Um, but when you use science uh, to help, uh, maybe there's a heart transplant, right? And maybe right. you can clone that heart because yep. you know we know heart disease yeah. is real. We know lung disease is real. For all the smokers out there. You know, it that, that stuff is real. So I think we can, you know, we can do cloning. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could just be mm-hmm. uh, a part of the body. So, mm-hmm. but when we start, start taking it to where we want to live forever, we want to clone the person, but also take the memory of the person that's dying and put it in a new body, right? They make movies of this stuff, by the way. Yeah. And yeah. movies yeah. we has shown to become reality in the future. Mm-hmm. Right. So about like, um, what about like sales? And looking at the sales that looking at the sales that like um human sales, like for wait, I think K-, K Mills, you had something to say? I'm sorry. That, that fish that everybody used to eat that not nah, nobody don't eat it. What blowfish? No, no, not uh the what t- 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 or something. Uh, <laughs> 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 Blowfish. Yeah, that, that's rated R. That's rated R, rap. Right? <laughs> hey, you okay, from Charlotte. I'm sorry. You gotta be from Charlotte, man. You come down this way, man. You from Charlotte. Uh, I'm gonna Charlotte. be single again. Yeah, I'm single again now. Oh, they don't look at this show. It's over. Blowfish. Oh my god, blowfish. Oh my god, what blowfish? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, uh, man. Blowfish must be around you somewhere. Blowfish somewhere. I just left. So I just left him, man. I had to get away from him. Okay, oh my okay. god, I'm over here sweating. Jesus <laughs> Lord, go ahead. Y'all got about to fall out, man. So, uh, what's that? Tilapia, tilapia, tilapia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They can keep that. Yeah, okay. They don't need to clone that. That's that's hard, but don't clone that. Yeah. Hey, that joke was uh-huh. good though. Until I started hearing that, I was like, Nah, I don't uh, think I'm gonna eat that. Uh, no. If you know, hey, I was in, I was in China when they was uh, yeah. I was over there for a while. <laughs> I seen exactly how they clone how, what they do with that. But yeah, they don't need to be messing with that fish. That's that's horrible. Yeah. But uh and we need to stay away from the blowfish too. I don't know, man. That's <laughs> <some kind of>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only here so I don't get fined. Oh no, I ain't trying to get fined, boss. I ain't trying to get fined. No, I ain't trying to get fined. Uh, oh man. man. I made the famous now, buddy. <laughs> Blow it, hey, hey, listen. We're, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. <laughs> but just like you were saying, cloning is very. It can be good and bad, and mm-hmm. and the as the essence of good and bad. Um, and yeah, it's something that we have to think about just as society, and mm-hmm. you know, some of the things that we got going on in the world. And some of these diseases and some of these yeah. how these people are dying now with organs mm-hmm. you need or- organs and, mm-hmm. and yep. you know that's absolutely of stuff. so yep. well, and we can certainly we use it for endangered species right just kind of keep that in mind um, yeah. but i know we got to move on to the next segment but you know just something to think about <laughs> yeah so hey so we about to move on to this uh you, you said something real fascinating when you said blowfish so oh. now we're about to move over to the story to tell segment with K Mills. K Mills, That's hey right. man, hey, I'm gonna let you go ahead and take it away, man. I I don't even got an introduction because so I'm gonna let you go ahead and take it. Everybody already know this segment; they love it. Let's go with it, K Mills. All right. All right, so check this out. This little red boy I used to deal with. One day, it was a dude over there. She called. Me and my god brother say, dude, talking mad junk about y'all. We ain't did nothing to this dude. I don't know what to do hating on us for. He talking about he gonna beat us up and do all this. So me and my god brother like, word. So we said we finna ride by there right now. So we we goes by there. He ain't there. So you know my god brother, he yeah he petted. He had me. We he had us ride by that. We rode by the dude house every day for seven days. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude, dude never was there. He never was there. So. We wow. got, we gave up. We gave up. Three years later, <laughs> we ride in my hometown. Me, my god brother, and one of the big homies. So the big homie like, "Yo, is that the dude that y'all been talking about for three years?" I said, "Well, 
He like right there in the apartment. So I said, I don't know how the dude looking at. I don't even know his name. He like, yeah, that look like him. So my god brother like, yeah, that's him. So I said, yo, check this out. I said, man, I, I got football practice. I said, take me home. I'm finna go get ready to go to practice. I done lied to him because I knew if we all went over there, they'd have said we jumped on the dude. So right. they, they they said we about to go get us a knee. I said, well, just drop me off. So they dropped me off. I went to put on my football practice clothes, but set the cleats. So I started leaving out of the door. I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. Let me go back and get the sword. <laughs> oh. so, so I went and got the sword, skipped on over there to the, to the projects. Man, it was a pretty day. It was pretty sunny, 80, about 85 degrees. Everybody was out there, man. I mean, cousins, aunts, women, red bone. It, it was packed out there, man. <laughs> so I goes over there. He see me. He don't even know who I am. The dude don't even talk about all that junk. Don't even know me. So I, I, I asked one of my cousins. I'm say dude named Lil Lucky. I said, uh, <laughs> I said, cousin, who is that? The first cousin didn't say nothing. So I went to the second cousin. I'm like, yo, what's dude name right here? She didn't say nothing either. So I went to the third cousin. I said, yo, what's dude name right here? She said, Lil Lucky. I said, word. But see, I didn't, I didn't know that he was dating one of my cousins now. So that's why he was in the projects. So dude had a uh, he had, he had food in the bag. He had a uh, French fries, hamburger, and I think a drink all in the bag. So I, I reached. The, I said, "What's up with your rap?" He said, "What's up?" So I, I, I stuck my left hand out there, like I'm gonna give him a five. <laughs> so he oh, said, he stuck his he stuck his hand out to give me a five. I called him fly out over here right. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! God. He went flying through the air like how uh, Debo did do on Friday when he said he wanted his bike back. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, man, he flew through the air like that. When he landed, he landed, he hit the ground and rolled like a backflip. Then he had one hand down like he was about to do the butterfly. So oh I'm like, yo. I said, I didn't knock him out. <laughs> so he looked at me like he was going to jump up and try to fight. Man, I'm tired, man. I gave everything I had in that one punch. <laughs> I didn't have no more energy. So I pulled out, pulled up my shirt, showed him the sword. Then he, he calmed down. So everybody like, oh, you got knocked out. You got knocked out. Oh, so I told God. the dude, dude still looking at me like, who is you? I said, yo, <laughs> don't ever disrespect me like that again. So I skipped off and went on home. <laughs> dude, yeah, it, they had to tell him who I was. He didn't even know. He didn't even remember none of that, man. It was three years later. Three years, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, so the, hey, the moral of the story is, don't go talking about people behind girls, man. Them chicks will call and tell on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, But yeah, I yeah. seen the dude again, though. I seen him two weeks later. I was at, I was in the projects and it wasn't my hometown then it was at somebody else somebody else spot and dude came out of the projects he came out of the apartment and seen me I had my shirt off all wiping down my car he went right back in the house he didn't want no smoke <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either I thought I did a bat flip and a butterfly all in one I'm good I'm good and he never uh, and he I'm never not. dropped the bag though he didn't drop his bag of food I'm like yo he didn't oh, drop oh, nothing I'm not dropping that bag <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm not that either, but hey, anytime you have to do the butterfly hey. and you have to do a <laughs> yeah, you don't want to Yo, deal with that dude. I can't believe I'm on TV telling about how I beat dudes up. Matter of fact, yes, man. I can. We talked about it 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, man, your stories are epic. Stories are def definitely epic. So, man, we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to have to pay some bills. So you know you are tuned in to WSME SM Enlightenment Media SM Enlightenment Radio. At time brands, the hustle within. Keep it locked. I don't know who you talking about. I'm glistening too. Yeah. This week, <laughs> hey, this week I ain't, I ain't got a lot of hair. I had to shave the hair off. That man, I see those diamonds. <laughs> who is that man? Right Give all them diamonds on. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's K. Oh, Mill. I don't know, up, man. man. That might be a clone. That might be a clone. That might be a clone. Yeah, you might be right, bro. I don't know. W S M E S M Enlightenment Radio. The hustle within. We are back. 
guys, we're going to segment four. We got to jump right into it. I got a quick question for y'all guys. You already know how I do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Starting with you, King. Just like Jeopardy. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to go first then. No, go ahead. All right. What was the <laughs> most embarrassing moment out in public on a date? Oh, I got a good one. Oh, the most crap. embarrassing moment when you was out on a date with a lovely lady. We mm-hmm. got to bring in a lovely lady in a little bit, too. We got a lovely lady that's coming in that uh, mm-hmm. yeah. y- y'all will see her in a few minutes. My most embarrassing moment out on a date was when I was out on a date with a young lady and um, her mother came in and her mother was like, she was like, Carlos? I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I'm like, it. hello? Oh, no, baby, let mama house off. She, yeah, I was like, she's like, what are you doing here with my daughter? <laughs> I'm like, huh? Oh man! Oh my God! I said, uh, "This must be a mistake." My name is uh, K Mills, and um, I am. <laughs> I'm oh man! Here. So, I was, like, real talk, that was probably one of the most embarrassing things. Like, you know, I didn't realize the woman I went out with had a daughter, and and then I'm out with the daughter, and I'm like, "This is awkward." Wish I was somewhere else, like one of those Snick commercials. You know, uh, so of course, before I uh, before the razor blades could come out, I ended up abruptly leaving out the back door, um, and I got uh, you know I got out of dodge. So that was probably oh one of my God. most embarrassing moments. Oh, that yep. was a good one. That's a that, that's a very embarrassing yep. moment. Okay, yeah. Jay Mills, what you got for me? All right, well, my crazy ex, we was gonna go on a date. She said, "Can I take her to child support court?" She begged me, so I took her. We was gonna go on a date after that, but we had don't you know we broke up. I had a whole nother girlfriend, so we chill in the courthouse. I seen one of my uh my my former girlfriend's friends. I ain't think nothing about it. We chilling. They number women in child support court, and uh, it went five minutes later. I hear a lot of ruckus going on outside. Oh, I'm finna beat him up. I'm finna do this, that, that. Whoop de whoop. I'm like, man, what's going on out there? So I look to the side. It's my girlfriend. I said, oh man. We're in the courthouse, child support court. Everybody in there. Everybody, even the judge didn't stop. They, they all looking at me laughing. So I'm telling the old girl, I'm like, yo, you don't want to go out there. They're going to jump on you. <laughs> oh, my God. She looked at me and said, she, looked at me and said mm. she went right outside. I'm thinking they about to fight. Then I start hearing, you know what, girl? We both going to mess this car up. What? <laughs> the blue, you know, the blue Honda with the big rims that you barely could turn that you drove. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They talking oh, about yeah. tearing it up. So I, so everybody looking and laughing. So I run out there. As soon as I get out there, I start getting poked in the head like this. Both of them. You gotta pick one. You gotta pick one. I kept walking. I didn't. Even, I looked straight off. And I said, Jesus, please let me make it. Out of here. Oh my God. Oh, hey. Yeah. All right, as soon as I got to the steps to go down the steps, I took off running, ran to my car, and took off. Oh hmm. man. Got away. That's a good one. I, I don't have nothing <laughs> compared to y'all, man. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm gonna move yeah. on, man. I can't even compare it to y'all. Story. You sure you want to move on? Because I, hey. I would. <laughs> I, hey. I, I want to hear it. <laughs> hey, my story. Hey, I my story not have nothing to. Do. I'm telling you, my story can't compare to y'all stories, man. For real. Oh, uh, I, I mean, and <sighs> we got a special guest waiting to come in, man. We got a lovely. She's very lovely. Like that one thing. She's a business owner. Oh, that's number two. She's a makeup artist, a celebrity makeup artist. Okay. And she's a beauty entrepreneur. I would like to bring in Miss Crystal Jennings. Ooh, what's up, Crystal? Hey, what's, hey. Going what's going Crystal? on? Y'all doing? Salute, <laughs> the, queen, the queen. What's hey. going on? Oh man, a whole lot. A whole lot is going on. Okay, well, tell us tell us about yourself. I just gave you a nice introduction. Just tell me about yourself. You did. Thank you, Anthony. Um, well, I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri, born and raised. Um, I've lived in areas like Chicago and Detroit, oh, cool. and then I came here. So how did I happen to live in all three murder capitals of the world? Uh, yeah, I was going to say that, but yeah, I ain't want to butt in on it. <laughs> yeah, they all, St. Louis especially off the chain. Um, mm. 
anyway, um, so um, I got started with my makeup business when I was in um, Chicago. I got interested in makeup and single mother, three grown sons. I'm a grandmother of four. And um, it was, yes, I'm a grandmother. And during that wow. time. Well, you show Lil's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so like, um, I was, like I said, a single mother couldn't afford to go to makeup mm -hmm. school. So I taught myself, I started, mm -hmm. um, uh, getting introduced to the world of YouTube and mm -hmm. YouTube had a ton of videos that I didn't know about. And then I was just addicted and I was practicing on myself the whole time. And I was taking a lot of pictures of myself and posting them. Um, so I was really my own model. And then uh, a friend of mine had convinced me, was like, you know, you should start doing people. I'm like, hell no, I don't want to do no people. Because, you know, I know women can be really, you know, really uh, particular, you know, and I want to mess nobody up. But somebody put the word out there. We put some flyers up in um, Detroit. At this time, I'm in Detroit. And it just took off. It just took mm -hmm. off. And I was like one of the most popular makeup artists in Detroit. And um, then after that, I came down here and because uh, I just wanted a, a change of scenery, went through some life changes and uh, just wanted a different environment. And I picked out Charlotte. My mom was like, why you pick out Charlotte? Like, you don't even have a cousin, you know, down there. Why are you going down there by yourself? And I'm like, well, I just, you know, God sent me here and mm -hmm. um, we built the business again. This is my third time rebuilding the business, you know, trying to get the clientele and it took off. It just exploded. Now, what is, what's the name of your business, your makeup business? It's about face makeup artistry. Okay. Um, you can Google me. I do have a website out there. Um, I, I, got, I got a five-star rating. Um, I've, I've done um, television. I've done some work with Tyler Perry's people. Um, I'm currently Fantasia's makeup artist. Actually, we got something coming up on Sunday with her. I've been mm -hmm. on the news, the radio. I've done a lot in the whole year and a half that I've been in this city. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And so Sweet. And what are some what are some of your goals moving forward in your beauty entrepreneurship world? Okay, well the first goal I wanted to do um that I am going to do um I want to uh, open up my own makeup studio. So okay. I would have the first standalone makeup studio in the city. So that's where you can just walk into a place and you got about five or six other makeup artists, diverse artists. I'm talking about like, um, not just black women. I'm talking about, hey, there's some Asians out here that can be faces. There's some Hispanic girls, some white girls that can be faces. So I want you to be able to walk in. We all dressed in black. We got a nice scenery, um, mm -hmm. very professional. And we, you know, it's hip, got the music going. And we're just beating faces and people can just stop through and just get their faces beat for all different kinds of occasions um, that I am working on. I'm currently looking at some uh, real estate right there. But then um, I got the idea of, you know, I just don't want to be just a makeup artist. I need some more leverage to my business. So now I'm getting ready to start off into doing online classes where people uh, can learn because the money is in the classes. You know, people right. pay three hundred dollars a head. Women pay three hundred dollars a person or more to come and take a class because every woman wants to know how to do their own face. Right. Um, they're not necessarily interested in being an artist, but they just want to know how to do their own face. So they will pay top dollar to come and learn. So not only do I do one on ones in person, I've got the idea to start doing things online and charging people online to do that. Oh, so. nice. So mm -hmm. basically, almost like a beauty makeup university type setup. Exactly. And actually, okay. I'm enrolled into a university, an online university now that's teaching me what platforms to use, how to do my launching, how to do my advertising and my marketing. This this is a makeup school. It does not teach me makeup. It just teaches me how to, uh, you know, get more prevalence, more visibility, more leverage to my business. Um, I'm a big big advocate of investing in myself. You know, a lot of a lot of artists don't want to invest in themselves. They don't want to take classes because they're cool with how they currently do things, mm -hmm. not knowing that you can always learn something from somebody. I don't care how good you think you are. You can always learn something from somebody, whether it's 
using a new product, a new technique, whatever the case is. Um, and that's what I do. I'll travel the world to go take classes with, with top professional artists. And then when I come back, I'm going to put my little signature on it and make it my own. So that's how I'm trying to make my, my makeup artistry different from everybody else and stand out. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Lose, lose, you want to ask a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so congratulations on the business. Thank and, you. And, um, you know, all the things that you got going on. It sounds like you, you're you very involved in your, your, your brand. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, how long have you been in Charlotte? And do you think that market is big enough for you? And do you have plans to move to a bigger market? Like for example, uh, Atlanta, uh, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, or like in LA, to kind of expand your your brand. Um, it's that is that's a good question. Um, I've thought about that. Atlanta was one of my uh, choices before I moved here, but I didn't want to move to Atlanta because it's too much competition. Right. Um, there, there's a big industry in uh, in makeup and in hair. And everything, and um, you know, it's in and in, in, in this industry, it's it's really like a doggy dog world. You know, everybody mm -hmm. is for themselves. So here, I knew that this was an upcoming city. I did my research before I came here. I came down here and visited before I I start picking out uh you know a place to stay and jobs and all of that. Um, I saw that it was an up and coming city. I do think that we're probably going to be like Atlanta. Um, in a few years, I've been here only a year and a half to answer your question, but I'm not really worried about um, the competition here. And I don't care who comes behind me. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be the pioneer of that. Um, because if that was the case, if that wasn't the case, I wouldn't be teaching other people how to do makeup. Like I teach other artists how to do makeup. I just wanted to be the pioneer of what I'm trying to do. And I didn't think that I could do that in Atlanta because there's so many other ones that's doing that. So. Has COVID of affected you in any kind of way with business? COVID? The stuff that's going no. on? No. At first, when it first happened, it did because I do keep track of my revenue. Um, and I can look at it on a month to month, week to week basis, however you want to do it. And um, when it first hit, you know, I was making, you know, just a few little dollars here and there. But all of a sudden, within the last two or three months, I've been making mad money. I mean, I was just shocked. Like, I don't know what happened. You know, stuff started opening up. And I, I don't know if women just got mm -hmm. tired of staying in the house. But I'm getting out. Yeah, I'm getting out. Yeah. Yeah, I've been they getting been a lot of um, photo shoots. A lot of business yeah. women who want to do headshots and and photo shoots and birthdays yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, but mm -hmm. for some reason, um, if it keeps going like this, I'm gonna end up quitting my corporate job because I do, I do have a corporate job. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, Camille, do you have a question? I got a bonus question. So, so what? You, I mean, I, I go a lot of places. I ask. Every woman the same question. So what you choose, money or marriage? Money or marriage? Oh my God, I ain't never been here with that question. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um money don't bring happiness. So I would well, say marriage. I would choose marriage oh. over mm -hmm. over the money. The oh, money will come. The money will come. Yeah. The, you know, and the type of person mm -hmm. that I would marry, we gonna we gonna make it work. Anyway, mm -hmm. I gotta have somebody that's a go getter, just like me. I can't have a man who is just, you know, sitting idle. You know, mm -hmm. he's cool with the nine to five. My thing is, is that I'm gonna tap into his brain and try to find out what it is that he want to do and see how we can go ahead and get that growing. Hopefully, at this age, he already got an idea because I'm 45 mm -hmm. years old. So hopefully, okay. you know. He would know what he wants to do, so the money will come. But I, I choose mm -hmm. marriage because I don't think anybody really wants to die alone. And like I said, mm -hmm. you know, money just don't, you know, it just don't, it don't bring you happiness. Mm -hmm. So what? Are, <laughs> like, what are your uh, future plans of travel, like internationally? Are you planning to travel internationally anytime soon, or 
Yeah, I'm going to Europe um, on the 22nd. Okay. It has it has nothing to do with makeup. I'm actually going to go see my son. I have a son that's in the service, and he just had his first daughter, and he got married. And so I'm going to go see my first granddaughter because I have all boys. It's like mm -hmm. six boys. I got three sons and three grandsons, so she's the first girl. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to go see her. I'm excited safe about travels. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I got Jamaica coming up in March. I got a girls trip. Some girls that I went to high school with, we are reconnecting. Um, I've been to Dubai. I've been, I've been a few, I've been to a few different places. Um, what's on my hit list is Bali, um, Indonesia, and uh Santa Rini, Greece. Mm -hmm. Oh sweet. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. Do you do you speak any uh languages? Do you speak Greek, Italian, Spanish, tu habla espanol? Porque <laughs> Tu necesitas no. español, tu muy caliente. Oh, you know how to speak Spanish? Sí, a little, un poquito, sí. Oh, sí. oh. they go cheat again. Oh, he cheat. Oh, he cheat. He done put the cheat code. I put in the cheat code. That's what. Yeah, he done put. He done put the cheat codes, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, cheat codes. Okay, now. But um, yeah. yeah. No, I don't know how to speak any languages. I took French in school for three years, but I don't remember how to say it. <laughs> okay. Good so, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I could take you with me next time. You can be my translator. See, si. oh, si. Me Yo, gusta mucho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you said, I didn't hear it before. Say something. <laughs> like, you know something and read it. Hola. You know that, right? <laughs> No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Yo quiero usted, usted mucho, y, y uh, mi novia uh, pronto, por favor. I thought por favor was French. Mm -mm. <laughs> por favor. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. You won't. You won't get me next time. I'm gonna go to Google next time. <laughs> yeah, okay. He got it. Oh, yeah. he got it. oh man. He put he put that cheat code out. So yeah, he got it. Me. Right. Um, it's in the drink. Salute. Give your shout outs. Um, you know the handle where people can follow you at. You know, just give me shout outs. Anybody you want to shout out? Your handle. Yeah. Yes, um, I'm on Instagram about face makeup one. I always say that's the number one. Um, and then on um, Facebook, I'm just Crystal Jennings, C R Y S T A L Jennings. Um, but I do uh, get a lot of my inquiries and everything, and people can see a lot of my work on Instagram. Okay. Any mm -hmm. shout outs? You want to shout out anybody? Yes, I want to, uh, you know, give a shout out to my family back home in St. Louis, my sisters, my brother. He just got home. Um, you know what that means. He just got home. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was in college. <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was in college. He was in a uh, band camp. Yeah. 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 My mother, my, my children, my son in Chicago, my son in St. Louis. Um, prayers to my son in St. Louis. He just lost his father to COVID-19. Um, and my, you know, my oldest son in Germany. Yeah. So yeah, it's been, this has been a rough year. This has been a really, really rough year. Oh, yeah, it's been, yeah, all my girlfriends and all my clients and my face, my Facebook friends and my Instagram friends, they are so loyal and so supportive of me. I got to give them a shout out. Cause if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't even be about face makeup at all. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. But well, we definitely want to have you come back um, the, uh, the next season for we'll follow up. Yeah, and, uh, it was great to have you on the show tonight, guys. Y'all want to say anything to the lovely Miss Crystal? Well, it was an honor to meet so, you. Honor to meet y'all too, and I'm gonna tell y'all uh, the Carolina Fashion Awards is coming up. Google it. I don't have the date. They just came up with the date. I did get nominated for Makeup Artist of the Year. I hope I win. Oh, you gonna win that? Votes. It was based on votes, so I hope I win. Um, Anthony, hey, I'm gonna keep you locked in, okay? I'm gonna keep you locked in on when that is. In okay. okay. real talk, if if the if the if the vote count is close, we're gonna sue. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> hey. Right. Right. I support that 100%. That's right. <laughs> hey, we gonna, I hey, have we fun, gonna... y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to stay out the way. We're going to stay out the way. Hey, have you watched Power yet? Have you finished watching Power? That's my last no. question. No. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll talk. I got to wrap up that last season. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. All right, right Crystal, take right. care. Have a great evening. You too. Right. <laughs> Guys, what it do, what it do, man. This has been a great show. Yep. Hey, I'm going to go around the round table. Hey, I know y'all still want me to tell you about my little embarrassing date, but. I yeah, go ahead, man. Go my ahead. Mind, let's, let's, my let's, mind is no good, man. You know, hey. listen. I'm drunk. Go I'm ahead. Drunk. It, it could have been no worse than mine. This, this, listen, this is full participation. Go ahead. Hey, my call was okay. in danger. <laughs> I was. I said my, my date don't compare to what y'all went through. So I was on a date. You know, we were walking. Actually, it was more embarrassing moment for her. Than ah. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody look at me when she failed. Now she had heels on them, them real high heels. <laughs> About this big, right? Oh, man. About this big, right? Yeah, okay. I remember this one. Downtown, downtown Charlotte. I mean, downtown, you know, downtown Charlotte. Uptown. Walking. Uptown. Uptown. Yeah, uptown. <laughs> uptown Charlotte. And her heel got caught in one of these little um, <laughs> drains. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm walking and talking back to the side, and I'm telling you, she had a fail. I'm, I'm a mile up. I don't walk the mouth. Everybody looked at me like, you just, you just, you just push her down? Like, no. You know, not me. Not me, bro. I, man, I walk back. I said, y'all thought you was walking beside me. She's like, I don't think you cry. And like, she jumped up crying and everything. You just and left me there. Man. <laughs> Boy, I thought she had broken leg. I, I'm not even going to lie. I went and helped. You know, I went back, helped her up, and we kept Golly. it going. But That's that embarrassing, embarrassing for you, both. right? Yeah, you know, embarrassing yeah. For me you're like, oh man, yeah. We, yeah. We, we, what's yeah, going they, on down here? Can you get up? Yeah, they, like, she, what are you I'm doing? Doing, doing the, the, the snake? She's doing dress on and everything. She's a little bitty mini drop. I'm like, okay. You're like, uh, uh, this is awkward. Why are you down there? What are you yeah. looking for, gum? <laughs> mm, man, it was, it was oh, very man. embarrassing for both. Yeah, her. So, but yeah, y'all guys give out your shout out. And hey, it was another great show. This is mm -hmm. episode five. So, I want to give a shout out to Moses. I want to give a shout out to Carlos. I want to give a shout out to Bam Bam. Uh, man, man. Mm -hmm. um, Lil Wu Tang. Lil yes, Doo Wop. Yes, sir. Um, you know, Ant Man, K Mills, this, 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 the, you know, Excalibur. Expert, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Doc P from Doc the P. uh from the, the birds. Scene. Oh, Dolly, Dolly yes, and Molly. Molly. And uh that's you know, that's all I got for tonight. Appreciate you. Yo, K Mills, K Mills, you up, you up. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give a shout out to Doc, shout out to Ant Man, Lowe's, Tico, Blowfist, T, Kevin, <laughs> Buck. <laughs> Everybody from Elvin, <laughs> shout out to all y'all. Look, mom e on TV. E <laughs> shout out to E Town, E Town. Uh, yeah, I can't forget. Shout out to my sword, man. It wouldn't be, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna give a shout out oh, to all man. Hey, my two co hosts, K Mills and King Lowe's, and then Dot P for making this. making this happen for us. Dot P behind the scenes, you know, Dot P. The, that's not the behind sure. the scenes. Big up. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, mm -hmm. he's staying out the way. He's staying out the way. But, and uh, you can follow me at Captain E N T C A P T O T O N E N T on IG. Anthony 33 Little on IG. Hey, one one more shout out. Crystal J. Big shout out to Chris, oh, Crystal yeah, for Chris, coming yeah, on yeah, and representing. Yeah, special guest. Yeah. Our special guest, Crystal. Big yeah, shout out. Really enjoyed yeah. it tonight. That was Very awesome. Very big shout out. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Yep. Very. Very big shout out. So, hey, man, great show. Let's keep it moving. Remember, you locked in to SM.
SM Enlightenment Radio, WSME, Hustle yep. Within, the Hustle Within. Keep it locked. Good night. I'll let me, man. Yes, sir. Yeah,